Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today I'll be showing you how to get custom fonts in your iDevice using a tweet called Bida Font. Upon opening up Bida Font, you'll be greeted with the screen that allows you to browse all of the different font fonts <laughs> with this which this application has to offer. So they're split up in categories such as themes, fonts, and applications, as well as the most recent and the fonts that are coming soon. They even have categories that divide them up uh, alphabetically or through the staff picks, the most appreciated, and the most downloaded, just to name a few. There are other categories as well, but I'll let you explore that on your own. However, the one that I tend to visit most often when I come to this application to download a font is the most downloaded folder. So that's what I'll be using today. Once inside of the most downloaded section, you'll see even more categories such as comic, condensed, uh, decorative, famous, and fancy. My favorite out of all of these is comic. So I'll be selecting that to use today as well. And once that opens up, you'll then be greeted with the screen that displays all of the cartoon-like fonts. Now, the main thing that I notice with this particular application that I do not like is that it seems kind of glitchy. I notice as I scroll down to the bottom, it'll automatically jump back up to the top of the page at a random moment. I don't know why it does that. It might just be my device, but if you notice that throughout my demonstration of this particular tweak or if you notice it on your phone then just know that you're not alone however though what you get when you click on the font is a screenshot of how the font will look in different applications and you can browse through the screenshots by clicking the numbers above the pictures of the screenshots and kind of see how it will look like in your settings or your clock so you can get a better idea of what you might be downloading so in order to download it what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page and you're going to select the option to install once you've done that your font will then open up in Cydia providing you with more information about it and then you can install it just as you would any other tweet now something else that I noticed about this particular application application that I did not like is that once you have gone to Cydia to install your font and you go back into Bita font then it takes you back to the start page it doesn't take you where you left off which means you have to then go back to wherever you were and finish from there. But to install your font or to get it running on your phone, what you're going to want to do is select basic. And this will put the custom font throughout your entire device. However, if you want to specify what applications this font is applied to, then you would select the advanced tab. And from there, you can go to the keyboard or your notes section and then select the font that you want to apply to that particular section. Once you've done that, then you're going to select Respring. And under the More tab, you just have Arabic fonts. Honestly, I'm not sure what that is because I don't mess with it. But that summarizes beta font. That's pretty much the tweak all in one. Even with the cons, I do still recommend this for everyone to download because it allows you to take customizing your eye device to the next level. Now, for all of you out there who enjoyed this video, found it helpful, or simply want to show your support, please do so by hitting that thumbs up button down below. And if for whatever reason you still have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the red subscribe button in the middle of this video or hit the subscribe button up in the left hand corner, whichever method you want to use. <laughs> and also follow me on Twitter at Tech Me Out. That's T E C H M E zero U T. I do follow back, so make sure you do follow me. And as always, thanks for taking taking the time out to let me tech you out. Subscribe.